Hey, what's up? It's Sugar from Sound Candy Studio. Uh, today we're going to do an a tutorial uh, on how to merge and bounce and add an event effect to PreSonus Studio One. So, see you in a moment. Welcome back. Right, today we're going to do a tutorial on how to do a merge, a bounce, and create an event effect. Uh, and I'll explain what they are as we go along. Right, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to play this uh, loop that I've created, and then I'm going to deconstruct it and tell you how I've created it. So let's go and have a listen to it and see what it sounds like. There we go. Right. So, uh, okay. So let's just, let's how let's let's start to deconstruct it. Right. So in this top loop, uh, this loop started live as this loop, uh, and in the middle here, you can see that there's a. Let's just play it for you. Can so you can hear it. Can you hear that effect there? Let's do it there. We'll do it there. And that one there. They all appear on this uh, strip here that says drum loop. Uh, what? So the keen uh, ones out there, they will notice that the effect that is applied here actually doesn't appear in this window here. And you're absolutely right, it doesn't appear here. And that's what our event effect uh, is all about. So what we're going to do is we're going to recreate this uh, and I will show you how to do it. So let's do something first of all. Let's just mute this for a second. Uh, and we're going to start by have, so this, what we have here, we have a loop and it is two bars long. We want this to be four bars long. So most of you will already know how to do that. On your keyboard, you'll simply hit the D to duplicate. Uh, you can duplicate anyway because you can go down to edit and just hit this one here that says duplicate and you can do it that way. Either way, it's both the same thing. Uh, right, so we've, we've duplicated our clips and now we have a clip which is four bars long. Uh, we want to merge these two clips together so we can either select, click on the first one, hold down the shift key, click on the second one, we've got them grouped together. Then we can hit the G key on the keyboard to group. Uh, the group icon to group something, uh, you can simply um, go to the audio, scroll all the way down, and it's called merge to audio part. So let's undo that and I can show you how to do it there. So we're gonna go to audio, we're gonna scroll all the way down and it will merge it there. There is another way to do it. So if we highlight both, uh, both uh, clips, we can right click, scroll onto audio, uh, and we can also do it here. Now, the reason why we want these, the reason that it's useful to have it this way is if you decide later on that you no longer wish these clips to be merged, you can deselect them. Uh, so to deselect, if we go to the right, uh, we right click on the clip, go to where it says audio and scroll all the way down, it will say dissolve audio parts. Once we hit that, they are both in their constituent parts, meaning that they're both as two clips. Okay, so we've done that. Right, uh, for the purposes of this uh, deconstruction, we cannot use this merge. So if we go to our keyboard and we hit the G key, it's back into its merge state. Now we can't do this. We cannot add an event to a merged part. Uh, and the reason why, and I'll show you. So on your keyboard, what you want to select is the number three, uh, the numeric number three. That will bring up this icon here, which is your splice uh, tool. And if, so what we want to do is we want to get this snare drum out and add an effect to the snare drum and the snare drum only. If we cut hair and we cut hair, uh, what we can see, then we're going to hit one on your keyboard to deselect it. Uh, what we can see, that merge icon is still there. Now we cannot add an event effect to a merged icon because it's going to say which part did you want me to affect, the, which, which of them, because they are merged. Uh, so we can't do it there. So how do we do it? Uh, let's undo that. So we're going to uh, command Z to undo. We have our merge part. What we can do is we can bounce these tracks together. So in bouncing, it looks as if it's the same, but they're not merged. It will just end up being one. Uh, 
it will end up being one track rather than two tracks uh, stuck together. Uh, so on your keyboard, if you hold down your command key and hit the B uh, on the keyboard, it will then bounce those tracks down. Now to get your bounce track, you can either do it there, you can right click and bounce, uh, bounce selection, uh, but I just like using the shortcut. So the shortcut is command and B to bounce. Right. So now that we've bounced, we have a four bar loop as one part. It's not two parts together, it's simply one part. Now, if we click on the icon again, click on the part that we want, and we hit the three on the keyboard, we then go in and we cut that snare out again. We hit one to deselect, we have that snare part there. Uh, possibly what I can do is just to make it uh, easier to see, let's just go and change the color of it, and let's, I don't know, let's do it red, uh, so we can see that which part we're working on. So now, this selection used to be one part, and it is kind of still one part with a few slices in it. Now what we want to do is we want to inject a, um, an audio effect on just this one part here. So what we're going to do is we're going to open our browser and find an effect that we'd like to use. So in this case, let's just, I don't know, let's just do some stock uh, plugins. Uh, let's grab it. So what we're going to do is on your keyboard, you're going to hold down the Alt Option key Whilst holding it down, we're going to drag the effect, the desired effect out, and we're going to hover to the part. So as you can see, uh, as you can see, it changes color. So to select the bit that you want. Uh, and we want that bit there, which is your snare. Once you've let go, the, uh, the plugin itself will, will emerge. Uh, once the plugin emerges, then you can do any changes that you wish. So let's just test whether this plugin has uh, has been correctly uh, applied to this. So we're going to hit the space bar to play. Now we can hear that it's been applied. And any changes that you want to make, you can make thereafter. So let's, uh, I don't know, let's just leave it where it is. Let's go down to do, we'll make some changes, hear what it sounds like. That's a bit much and a bit excessive, uh, but we can we can still work with it. If, if, if we have to, we can work with it. Uh, right. So let's just say that was the desired effect. So we'll go back to the top and let's play it. Let's just say that's what we wanted to have. Okay, so we've injected the plugin into just that bit there and it isn't affecting here. And we know that it's not affecting here because it doesn't appear in our plugin chain. Uh, so the question might be, well, okay, if it doesn't appear in our plugin chain, if I want to make changes to it, how do I do that? Well, here on that red clip that we injected the plugin on, there's a tiny icon here. If we click on that tiny icon, it will bring up the, this plugin that we've just added and we can make our changes. Uh, so that's how we do that. So what we've been able to do uh, so far, we've been able to take a clip, which was two bars long, duplicate it uh, into four bars long, merge it, hit those four bars together and then bounce those four bars down to one bar and now we've done our event effect where we've added it in here so let's go in again we're going to hit the three icon on the uh, keyboard uh, we're going to find another snare i believe this is, looks like a snare here so we'll do one here as well we're going to hit number one on the keyboard again to select that snare part then what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the alt option key drag this part back again to it we can see where it's highlighted uh, and then we're going to make some different changes here we'll try something else i don't know we'll try that and let's see what that sounds like now we know for a fact that this part isn't been affected so what we can do uh, if we Incidentally, if you do want to remove this part, uh, this particular plugin, you can easily just go in uh, and simply say remove. So it's no longer there. So let's try something else. Let's, let's not get too complicated, but let's try, I don't know, let's try this one here. Uh, so we're going to hold down the Alt option on our keyboard, select it, bring it up, and let's see what this sounds like. There we go. Right, and as I said before, we know it's not happening here because when we play, it's not happening here. It is simply happening in this event. So let's try it again. 
and that's how you do it. So just to recap, we wanted to create this uh, loop and the effects on here. So let's just get rid of these. Uh, in fact, let's just delete, uh, let's remove this track entirely. Uh, so now what we've been able to do is been able to get this track from two bars to four bars, from a group to a merge, from a merge to a bounce, and from a bounce to add some effect. And that's how you get it to sound like this. And that's how you do it. Right, so if there's any questions or any comments that you'd like to leave below, please do shout me. Uh, and if, if there's something that I've missed, uh, please do feel free to hit me up and let me know what it is. But that's it for today. Until next time, see you again. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs>